Hi there everyone, it's Laurel. Today I'm here to share with you a balloon sh shaped card that I made here. And this is the card that I'm gonna be making in the video and how I kind of dressed it up a little bit. And this is a birthday balloon card, so I thought it would be super fun to make. So I've gone ahead and die cut that with some Simon Says Stamp, the balloon dies, and I'm using the largest balloon there. And then I thought I'd create some score lines on there, so I'm using the back side of the cardstock. And then I'm gonna take a stylus here, and I'm just gonna score in some lines. And I just thought it would be super fun to add those little, just a little bit of embossed lines there. As you can see, they kind of pop off the page, super cool. But to accentuate them even more and draw your eye and your attention to them, I'm taking a double scoop gelato in the color coconut and I am just scribbling it on there. And what that's doing is that that's, lying, that's laying down some of that white over those embossed lines and really draws your eye to it a little bit more. So just something fun to do. So now I've got this sentiment stamp by Little Inker. It's called Snarky Sentiments. It's hilarious. There are some hilarious sentiments in there. I'm going to link to it below in my YouTube description and also in the blog. Be sure to check out that set. It's so funny. I'm pairing that with the Bannerific uh, stamp set by Lawn Fawn. And I'm stamping that with some Tuxedo Black Ink by Memento onto some Nina Solar White cardstock because we're going to do a little bit of Copic coloring. So this is a hex chart by Sandy Allnock that she has created and she is selling over on her blog. It's absolutely brilliant. The downloads that you get from the Copic website are actually organized by number. With her hex chart, they're organized by color. So you'll find colors that you had no idea went together that do. So I'm using R81, RV52, and RV50. Five, I think are the three colors I'm going with but this chart I found very useful because you can pair together colors I had no earthly idea would blend together because all I had to go up was the Copic chart that was provided on the Copic blog and again that's sorted by number so I'm going in putting a base layer of the R81 then I'm going to go in with the medium color RV52 and then I'm going to go in with the RV55 and then I'm going to blend it all back together with the R81 I am not a Copic expert at all that's why my chart is pretty pretty sparse there. I don't have a lot of colors. I have what I need, but uh, I don't, you know, I just color. I'm sure there are proper ways to do this. There are classes that you can take. There are free YouTube videos that you can find on proper ways to Copic color. Now I'm going to go and take that sentiment from the Little Inker Snarky Sentiments. <laughs> I just laugh every time I say that. Um, stamp said it's so funny and I have the benefit of a clear stamp as you can kind of arch it I wanted to arch it to fit inside this banner so I love that about clear stamps as you can manipulate them on your click block to mount them in different ways so I'm gonna go ahead and grab some scissors here and fussy cut out this banner and this is a very easy banner to 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 uh, cut out which is another reason why I love that banner because <laughs> I'm not the best fussy cutter. This is a stamp set by Essentials by Ellen that Ju Julie Ebersole designed. It's called Wish Big. I'm also going to be using the coordinating die set. And I want to stamp out those little candles there. Now I'm grabbing these Zig Clean Color Real Brush Watercolor uh, pens here or markers and I'm going to watercolor those in. I have another video that kind of shows me using these but these are super cool. They actually have a brush tip whereas the other watercolor markers on the market actually have felt tips well this has a brush tip so you can go in and create brush strokes and all kinds of fun stuffs with those watercolor uh, pens but more on that in another video but uh, anyway that's why I colored it with so I'm gonna go in and get that coordinating die and I ran that through my die cutting machine I just secured my die in place with some washi tape before running it through my die cutting machine I decided the white there was a little bit you know too white I didn't want that on my card so I just grabbed a Copic marker here and I'm just gonna go ahead and color that in I went right over the watercolor that I laid down with those brush watercolor brush pens and had no problems it did not uh, alter the color at all so now I'm trying to figure out the layout and how I want to work this and what I want to do here and uh, you can see I'm gonna finish this off with some sequins and some twine so and some mist so I've grabbed this old shoe box here and I'm using this irresistible textured spray it's called in the color wedding dress and this is different from other mists because this actually leaves a very subtle texture behind it's so cool I love it you've seen me use it in other videos before if you follow me I just think this is so cool I also grabbed the Prima color bloom, bloom spray in soft teal and went ahead and added some of that teal color as well now you see that red down there in the bottom of that box I haven't used this box in months. I'm not t I'm not kidding, in months. So imagine my face when I saw that I got red on my card. Like, how is that red paint even still wet? It's been months. So I've got a couple of red splotches there, but I'm going to I'm going to fix that. I'm going to cover it up because I'm certainly not going to redo all this. So I'm going to go around the edges with that white gelato to cover up some of it that got on the edges there. 
You'll never know it was there. And then those other little smudges you can kind of see on the video, I'm gonna cover those up with sequins. Sequins and enamel dots are great things to cover up little mistakes with. So I'm gonna let the gelatos kind of rest a little bit and I'm gonna take the base of my card and I need to score a, a fold so the card can fold. So I'm gonna take my little stylus tool and I'm gonna score a little line there. And then that's gonna be the base of our card. So now it's time to try to figure out how I want to assemble this card. So I just, I knew I wanted a little bit of foam dimension. So I've got some Scotch double-sided tape here. I'm going to trim it down and kind of put it on the back of my die cut, also on the candle. And I like this double-sided tape because you just can tear it with your hands. You don't have to get scissors to cut it. And then it has these little backing sheets that you just peel off and throw off to the side like I'm doing here. <laughs> also needed to put some on the back of my candle as well. So I'm going to kind of layer that onto my the bottom part of my balloon there but before I do I need to secure my candle onto my banner so I'm going to add some multi matte medium to the bottom front part of the candle here this stuff is awesome it's super strong you don't need a lot and it dries completely matte so if you have any that oozes out the sides or the top or whatever it's completely matte you won't be able to see it so I'm going to add some adhesive to the top of that score line there and then I'm going to line up my balloon here and that's going to give us the fold for the back of the card I'm also going to grab some scissors and cut a straight line down there at the bottom on the back side so that my card stands up straight. The front is still going to have the cute little balloon bottom, but the back is going to have a straight cut so it stands up. So I added some sequins and some twine there, and I've got a spot to write a sentiment in the inside of my balloon, and that's the card. Super fun. Super easy. You can do this with any shaped dies that you have. If you have a silhouette, you can create your own shapes. Uh, so I hope you'll give it a try. If you're interested in any of the supplies, they are linked below in my YouTube description and also on my blog with a few more pictures. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day.